Hello everybody and welcome to the Green Report. Before anybody asks, no these are not fake shoulders, they're actually my real shoulders. I know the shirt's kind of tight on me, I wanted to show off a little bit I guess. Listen guys, you guys all know that I said in my last couple of weeks ago after my first live, couple, a week ago after my first live stream. I was gonna do one Friday. Well, a f friend of mine is gonna be dropping one on this Friday, so I'm not gonna be dropping one Friday. But I am, however, going to be dropping one Wednesday. Yes, you get to see this face live again Wednesday. But before we do that, I have a me and another friend of mine, if you don't know her, her name's LaKayla. We got together last night and started talking about, well, I asked her a question. Actually, a couple questions. And I really want to get it situated before I say anything about it, before I put it out there, before I say anything definite, because I don't know when this is going to happen. Put it this way, what it's going to be is that she's going to drop something on her channel. And then we're going to go live with uh, the next day. Or, yeah, next day so everybody can read what's going on. Read, watch hers. And get it situated where she can be on live stream with me and we'll discuss it. And more deaths. And it's going to be a series. It's up to her how long it goes. Because I'm willing to go as long or as short as she wants to be. Because I'm wanting to clear up a few things. This is going to clear up a few things with a, cer a certain... I'm being sketchy for a reason, guys. I don't want to give it away. Until I'm not going to say anything more on that. Other than that, let's get to this. What you come here for. The Grim Report. Now let me get my glasses on, ladies and gents. Because I need my glasses to read. And to see sometimes. New study. A new study hopes to spot the Tasmanian tiger coast to coast. This is on coast to coast. This is where I got it from. It was March 24th, 2017. Yes, it was a couple of days ago. Big deal. New study hopes to spot the Tasmanian tiger. A pair of scientists in Australia are launching an expedition, ambitious project, in the hopes of capturing proof that the legendary Trilankin Thylank is still alive. Known by, by its more popular name, the Tasmanian tiger, the famous, infamous creature has been considered extinct by mainstream science since the last known Tasmanian tiger died in captivity in 1936 and sightings in the wilderness seemingly ceased around the same time. However, a rare appearance by the animal has been has animal have allegedly perished persisted over the years with modern technology adding the perceived legend that Tasmanian tiger still exists. I'd say in that Thylankin, Thylankin, but I'd butcher it so I'm not saying it. Just to let you guys know. In recent years, interest in the tale of the Tasmanian tiger has increased considerably and it appears that then intrigue surrounding the creature has finally drawn attention to mainstream science. Researchers from Australia James Crook University will soon embark on a remarkable study which will see more than 50 camera traps placed in regions where it believes believed that the Tasmanian tiger still may still roam. Okay. One of the researchers behind the project, example to ABC.net, that were a little worried about what you might 
called the yodel yobo effect where somebody hears about it and then wants to go and shoot one of these things let's hope that they can avoid the yodo yobos and commendable inquiry produce some kind of new evidence that bolsters the case for the Tasmanian tiger should such an effort prove successful it may it just may inspire some academics here in America to take up the call and finally put the funds together to find Bigfoot once and for all good luck on that Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, this is an expanded one because, like I said, I just don't do one website. I go to the website that actually had the article, a longer version, usually more in-depth study, as you were to speak, uh, so to speak. Far North Queensland researchers will launch a scientific study into the existence of the Tasmanian tiger on, on Cape York, Cap, York, Cape York. Following this, a series of historical sightings being reported, James Cook University scientist professor Bill Lawrence and Dr. Sandra and Abel will use more than 50 camera traps to survey the sites where the scientific term again where I'm using Tasmanian tiger are believed to have been spotted. Dr. Annabel, who will lend the study said her interest was piqued after hearing Brian Hobbs account on, on ABC Far North and has since been contacted with him personally. Interesting. Clearly scientific, I assume. What really stood out to me, this is what she said, wasn't was that it wasn't just brief sighting in the car headlights. He actually said he saw the animals multiple times in one night. He said, she said, Professor Lawrence said Mr. Hobbs' accounted, account stood out as being fair them, them coon and was clearly non fictitious All stuff that were we were able to go able to go back and cross reference against the other accounts a man and a woman stand in front of a map of Cape York Pens I'm gonna skip that word spelled P E N I-N-S-A-S-U-L-A -S -S Photo James Cook University Ecological, Ecologist Professor Bill Lawrence and Dr. Sandra, Sandra Abel were keeping quiet about the exact location of their study. ABC Far North Mark Rigby Proceeding with the cautious quickly Caution quickly both Dr. Ann Nobel and Professor Lawrence were wary of releasing too much information about the planned location of the study for fear of the people trying to get involved. We're not worried about much, worried too much about legitimate scientists doing that, but we're a little worried about what you might call the Yobel effect. Of course, I didn't said that. You know, everybody hears about it and they want to go kill it. Things like that. Let's go shoot this thing. You heard? But the stage expedition expedience was Dr. Annabelle's primary concern. It's really important to get the facts together and there are a lot of different things we need to be sure of before we spend the resources to actually go out look 
for something she said we have this declines in our mammals all through Cape York and through Australia so my, my concern is that we that if we leave it much longer to just go out and have a look then we could actually miss out on seeing something This would not be the first time camera traps would be used to survey extinction of species no longer through to be inhabited in New York, Cape York. We've uh, this rediscovered population of northern Betog, bet where there had been no record since 2003, Dr. Annabelle said. She said the camera trap survey could repeat history and capture the activities of some Cape York's less legendary creatures. The benefit of this, we really want to get an idea of some of the mammals that are in the locations. And we'll also be able to assess feral animal presence, Dr. Evans and Abel said, there's actually so little baseline information on large expanses of the Cape York P-E-N-I-N-S-U-A-U-S-U-L-A. So it'll be really valuable data in collecting. Professor Lawrence said, Professor Lawrence said, there's not much down side to this study it provides very interesting scientific angle and implements on work we would really like to be doing anyway well to recap guys a bunch of scientists after Anna Abel and another the professor they want to go look for the, the Tasmanian tiger and Kate York, the Cape of York, and then there's that P word, which you guys know I can't say very well, so I'm not gonna butcher it again. But yeah, I mean, to be honest, Tasmanian tiger. It supposedly went the way of the dodo years ago. Yeah, extinct, basically. When someone says that, it means extinct. The way of the dodo. No longer exists. But, they're not really sure since of this man's sightings. And since he saw this, these creatures, and it seems to be, he be, seems to be an, a credible witness... They're thinking maybe he could be one of them, be telling the truth. And like I said, the professor lady, she's been in contact with him personally. Talking about the what he saw and all that, where he saw it. And they want to actually see if this happens. Now... The website I got this off of is that I'm going to give you this, guys. I always do. Let me get the information for you. ABC.net, I think it was. ABC.net.au So... If you guys want to read what I read and read read it all over again, feel free to go there and do it. Like I said, I leave nothing, everything, my sources. If I'm, it's not me who's wrong. If I'm wrong, it's not me. It's them. It's the sources they got it from. So it's the website. I'm just getting information from the website and giving to you. 
So, yeah, there you go. Like I said, one's coast to coast.com, the other one's abc.net.au. Look for it if you guys want to go more in depth than this. Leave a like, leave a comment, do your thing. Good luck. Good night. God bless.